All right, I'm going to try and show you this burping with the hose that I explained in the previous video. Um, this has got the metal rescue in there. There's like quite literally 20 liters. There's not a drop left in the cans, but um, and I've already burped it a few times. But this this is higher than the bottom of the of the filler, and so what's happening is this has got air up in here, so it's not being treated. So because this is level to try and get it treated, um, I'm just using this bit of bit of pipe which just put your thumb over the end of this that's got a little bit of coat hanger sticking out the top there to stop it from um, sealing off the inside and I'm going to try and do this I'm filming left handed and I'm trying to do this one handed so just bear with me for a second while I get it in there alright now if there's any air left in there it'll burp seems like it's full anyway that burped about six times while I was filling it up so well it's not a really good demonstration that's that's quite literally what I did oh there you go so that is how to get the material up into the very top of the cavity All right. um, so as far as the setup for this goes for this job uh, I've got the there's a bolt in the Bandro receiver, a whole bunch of blanking hoses blanking it off, some timber blocks to hold the base of it up. Underneath this little tote box, because they're notoriously flimsy, I've got a piece of foam to support the bottom of it so it doesn't break through. And then that is just going to sit for probably the rest of today. It's bang on 20 degrees today, so um, the day's only about to get warmer, so it should, it should go pretty well. Uh, it's been about a week since I did the vinegar treatment last weekend. Um, the temperature went really cold on Sunday, so I didn't get around to doing it. Um, I'm just going to leave that for the rest of the day and see how it goes. But there was a little bit of surface rust did form um, over the last week after doing the vinegar. and But it was dry, and when I upended it, this is what the inside of the fuel tank was coated with. So that's what four years of sitting... Um, without fuel stabilizer without running fresh fuel through inside of the tank coated with that shit and it stinks something shocking so anyway um for up to this point you can check out the other videos uh, but that's where we're at today